Hello everybody and welcome back to the Universe Sim. Thank you so much for joining us again. Look at our planet, it is absolutely beautiful. It is winter, so not a lot to look at at the moment, but we're getting there now. Let's get straight into it. No mucking around. So I have played this game for a few more hours and I'm still having no interaction with the food minister. He's just not building anything. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do that. All the other ministers are fine. They're doing everything. For some reason, I'm having issues with the food minister. I contacted the devs on the uh, Discord. They're telling me there's no issue, but yeah, there we go. So let's continue on. We will use the ministers still, but like I said, we're just going to have to do the food buildings ourselves. All the other ministers are working. I'm having no issues with them, so let's keep going. So, where were we at? We've just done electricity. Let's go have a look at our research. Let's research the minister for energy. He can start getting some power plants happening. Blacksmith, he does nothing. Uh, and fishing nets. Great. Okay. So, now, just a bit of uh, information. So obviously with these new perks locked, it is a little bit difficult now. You do have to build more food buildings to feed your nuggets because you're not getting those perks straight away. Now, I have had a look on Discord and unfortunately there's a few people complaining about that. So... I'm loving it. I love how it's a bit more challenging. It's kind of slowing the game down. I, I didn't mind the game beforehand, but you would quickly go through each Stone Age, Medieval Age, Modern Age quite quickly. And yeah, I'm finding it much more difficult, but we are getting there. So all those people complaining about this new locking of the perks, they should um, perhaps Play the game a little bit differently. Have a bit of a challenge. So as you can see, we have the era buttons unlocked now. So that is great. Let's build some more batteries. I also was talking to one of the developers. I wanted to know uh, what exactly what uh, ministers built what so he was able to give me a bit of a list we will go through that um, probably next video okay so we're having this video released today on Monday but we will also have another video of the universe sim releasing this Friday as well I'm gonna try and get get ahead of this uh, series a little bit so we did have a little bit of a construction boom here so that is fantastic we have our power plant up and running excellent so you have a built a few more batteries obviously this gas power plant is going to produce a lot of power for us so we want to be able to store that quite quickly okay now what do we need to upgrade these we need wood, bricks, and iron. And we have quite a few, so we can start upgrading that as well. Now, I did also see that um, I had issues with my population as well. I was getting so excited and started building all these buildings, I wasn't giving my nuggets time to go off and mate. So, I highly suggest you only build four buildings at a time maybe just upgrade two at a time just so you're not using all of your labor nuggets to construct and then they're not able to go out and uh couple up with some new nuggets and make some babies for us so just a suggestion all right so we've got all that construction happening so we won't build anything else we'll let that go for a little bit Let's go take a look around our city. Let's see what's happening. 
We definitely need trees. Um, but there's no point doing that until we get the lumber mills. Otherwise our nuggets will just go ahead and chop them down straight away. So Excellent. So yeah, a lot of upgrading to be done. We need to wait till we have constructed all those buildings. Now I've done a lot of expedition missions as well. So we can go through that. I'll show you the best way to do a successful expedition and you don't need a lot of food either. So actually let's just do one now. We only have 65 food. The only thing you really need a decent amount of is creator points and you will successfully do a expedition all the time. Now they did do a little bit of a hot fix since this uh, new core update and it was just around the expeditions. Um, apparently when you pick the nuggets to go on the expedition, they were picking older nuggets and obviously they were dying off. So that's why you had a high amount of nuggets dying during an expedition, but that's all been fixed. So let's go, we got, let's see if we can do this. We've got 30 food, one, two, three. No, we can't do it. Actually, let's do it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So usually I do three lots of food, three lots of the uh, medicine and four of the hammer and rope. And then we want five of each of these nuggets. And there we go. So there we go, we've done three. So total of nine, six and four. Let's send the expedition. Now this is a great little mini game to be able to do while all those buildings are being constructed. We don't really have any disasters, so we don't need to micromanage everything. We can just concentrate on this expedition while our nuggets continue to build for us, which is fantastic. And I've tried to do expeditions almost at autumn time. And then by the end of winter, the expeditions returned and all those nuggets you used are free to go back out and do whatever job they were doing. Because obviously during winter, a lot of our buildings shut down and we have free nuggets. So why not have them doing an expedition for us? So that's what I've uh, been doing. So here we go. Obviously we are locked out from having any more than 10 nuggets. Now I did unlock this a bit further down the track and you can have, I think up to 60, but I sent like 20 nuggets and they really didn't come back with a lot. So anyway, so let's camp, we'll cure and let's feed our nuggets. So there we go. We're using a lot of creator points, but trust me, this is all you need. Okay. So we really do not need any more food. We might have to camp one or two more times, give him some uh, manna from heaven, but that's it. So at the start, we did three lots of food, three lots of medicine and four lots of the hammer and we're off. You camp, you give him a whole lot of manna from heaven and that's it. Let them go on their way and find a whole lot of discovery points for us. So we could even, we can let that go for a little bit. We will come back. So all our residentials are upgrading to medieval age. That's excellent. We will develop out this way as well. And I think if we build four more farms out here, uh, if we build a few more fishing huts, we should be golden for food, okay? Obviously it's very low. Uh, we've just come out of winter. So that will happen. Now let's have a look here. Our iron mine. Yep, we've got plenty still. Let's uh, check all our other resources. So what have we got going? We've got gas going at the moment, which is at 300. We could possibly turn one of these gas mines off and free up a few nuggets. Bricks and lumber are okay. So let's see here. Yeah, let's turn one of these off. We've just freed up six nuggets. 
they can go off. So look, just an example, I built all these batteries because now this is full, okay? And this gas power plant is just wasting electricity now. So we're gonna turn that off. We've got enough power in the battery for the moment until all of these are built. Then we'll turn this back on and it'll start filling up the batteries. But if we just leave that on, we're wasting gas. Okay, so there's no point. Excellent. All right, let's get back to the expedition camp and see what's happening. Now, happy Monday to everyone. I hope you had a great weekend. Here in Australia, we had a long weekend for a public holiday on the Monday. And of course, hospitality worked it. It's just what we do. But yeah, I hope you had a great weekend. You got something planned for the week. Let's get going. Okay, so we've got two items and they've eaten a bit of food and morale has dropped, but we're still high. That's fine. Excellent. So they're doing a lot. They're finding a whole lot of uh, items for us. Let's have a look at what items they got. So we've got a rare compass. Now that's going to give us four discovery points. We've got a common alien chip. That's going to give us two. Rare alien spares. That's going to give us one creator point. Sorry, one discovery point. And that's it at the moment. So they can keep going with that. Uh, let's camp. Give them a bit more food. Excellent. And then we'll let them keep going on their own. And that's all you have to do, guys. You saw how much food, medicine, hardware I gave them at the start. Let them camp first, give them a whole lot more food. And then just slowly top them up as they go on. That's all you have to do. It's not difficult. Alright, let's get rid of this. Infectious zone. Now we do have a cemetery here, but it isn't built yet. We'll wait to our okay, so our hospital's done. Firehouse. What's this? The eatery. We have courier hut operating. We probably need to build courier huts right through our town as well, so that will be the next job after these batteries are done. So let's prioritize this. And this one, that restaurant's prioritized and prioritize this cemetery. And we'll unpause that, excellent. All right, let's go check on the expedition building. So we're out of winter, look. Look how beautiful this is. Now, I also, did not sacrifice some nuggets at the end of the last episode, so I sincerely apologize for that. Now we have used one god power so far, just uh, getting rid of that infectious zone. So what I'm going to do is we'll come back, we'll sacrifice three non-believers now, and then at the end we'll do a, a few more, just to make up for my forgetfulness. So again, I apologize for that. Now let's have a look here. Okay, we found one item. Morale's draw up to look. This is the turnaround zone and we've still got plenty of food at the moment. So they did find some food as well. So that is fantastic. And look how far we've gone. So just remember on the return trip, they will also find items. So don't think we need to fill up this weight meter here to 100 because on the return trip, they will find more items. So I usually go to, so we got 10 nuggets at 100 capacity. We'll probably go to 80 if we can, and then we'll recall them, and then they should find some more items on the return trip, okay? Excellent, uh, let's camp again and feed them again. So this is where having a high creator point comes in handy. So you don't have to overload them at the start with heaps of food and medicine. 
you just use your creator points to heal them or give them food as they travel on, okay? All right. So our eatery has been completed. I did see that message. And they should be getting onto the batteries. So yeah, like I said, I did have an issue with my population of nuggets. But just, just don't go guns blazing with a whole lot of research, a whole lot of building, a whole lot of construction and upgrade and just take it slowly. Give your nuggets time to go off and date and couple up and make babies. You can always do the Lecupid, but I've found I haven't had to do it as often. Maybe once or twice every couple of episodes. But we have 73 unemployed nuggets there, that's great. And the other issue I had was at our town hall we have it set at 80% of nuggets are allocated to jobs where 20% are not, they are our labourers. And as I was upgrading the buildings and then requiring more nuggets to work in them, they were short staffed. So then I had to use the Cupid to get my nugget count up a bit. So yeah, we're at 80%. I did try 90% just to fill up, but then I saw the amount of my nugget population drop a lot because in, then you only have 10% of nuggets mating. Okay. All right, let's fill this guy up. There we go. Beautiful. We have three ministers now. So let's see what the power minister does. So because we are in medieval age now, our role as the god of these nuggets has changed a little bit. So now we will not interfere with any elections. We will not interfere with um, them negotiating resources with the exile villagers. They're going to do that all by themselves. And in fact, I think we might not even intervene with disasters. Let's, let's let them figure it out. If a tornado hits, it just hits and... The good thing is if it destroys a building, the building doesn't disappear anymore. The rubble's there and then we can rebuild. That's what happens in real life, okay? Plus, we only have 10 god powers to use every episode, so we can't be helping them all the time. Alright, look, two of these batteries are almost done. We can turn... let's just turn the power plant back on. I did also notice when I turned the gas power plant off, the uh, energy minister would go and build a second power plant, thinking that we didn't have a power plant. So just be careful of that. Any, any building that your ministers go and construct, you can zoom into it and just cancel it. It's fine. It doesn't, you don't have to agree with whatever your ministers are building. You can um, destroy them before any resources get there. So there we go. Also next episode, I'll show you guys that I have been using... Okay. Um, let's go. Let's see. Let's keep them going. Let's feed them. And feed them again. There we go. I think that will be the last time. Uh, once they run out of food, they can return. They really haven't picked up a lot of uh, things for us. Okay, they have actually, I apologize. Where were we at? This is new. So that's six creator, six discovery points. Uh, that's two. That's 110 creator points. Excellent. That should um, refund us with all the ones we've been using for this expedition. We've got one discovery point there. And look, we've got some iron and glass there, some oil. So we've got some resources there as well. So that's 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 fantastic. We'll let them go a little bit longer. Once they get to this return icon, they can come back. I think that's it. We don't need to 
waste any more food on this expedition. And we're at 43. They will return and pick up items as they go. We might get up to about 60. So that's fantastic. Okay. Let's get back to it. Now, I do follow a guy on Instagram. He's called the Universe Sim Fan Page with an underscore in the middle there. And I think he must be a developer or he's got something to do with the game because the footage and imagery he puts up there is fantastic. So he, there's been some videos of volcanoes in the Universe Sim. So that might be coming out in the next patch. And it looked beautiful. So it's pretty much one of these big mountains and it's spewing out stones and a little bit of lava and a whole lot of smoke. And all the rocks are coming down, hitting the ground. It looked fantastic. Excellent. And fingers crossed, I know we say it almost every episode, but fingers crossed, space age isn't too far away. Now, we do have an exile village here. And a second one here. We do have two towers here blocking this one off. We might have to do some towers here, I think. Yep. Okay, now let's have a look here. This one right here. Oh, we don't have... We have fire there. Why can't... Maybe we're too close to that village. So let's put one there. And another one here, right there. Beautiful, okay. Starting to get a bit of a border happening there. That's fantastic. So clearly we can't develop any further out that way because that's their territory. We could possibly go to the left though. Excellent. Oh, look, our cemetery is happening. All the batteries are pretty much done. That's great. Power plants are operating. Now, let's start upgrading. So we'll upgrade two buildings at a time. There's one and there's two. Yep, that's fine. We want you guys to return. So recall them. And this is a bug. This just stays up there now. I think it's meant to be removed, but yeah. So that's great. Our guys will return now. They got pretty far. Great work, Nuggets, but there we go. We've got a bit more items there as well, which is great. 52. Yeah, I reckon we'll get up to 60, even possibly 70 items there. Excellent. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we're upgrading a reservoir there and a forecast tower. So there we go. Our Minister of Water has popped down a water pump. Beautiful. I love it. Like I said, no issue with the Water Minister. He builds uh, reservoirs and pumps right through. Like I said, I have gone forward a little bit and played this game on another save file, okay? And I had a defense minister, he's popping up defense towers all over the place, all nicely around our city. So, um, what else? The, the entertainment minister, I just got him happening and he built one theater. But yeah, next video I will discuss what ministers build what, according to the devs. And I also want to mention, I have been using a lot of the, where is he? The kickstart. And I'll, I'll show you why I've been using a lot of it, but we'll save that for next video. I apologize. And it's only 15 creator points, but what, what it does is actually game changing. You guys probably already know about it. I've just come across it. A lot of that happens in my games. I'm a bit slow to the party. So, 
Unemployment nuggets are about the same. We don't need any required educated nuggets at the moment. That's great. Cemetery's almost there. That's all being built. We've got the two towers there being constructed. And then, yeah, the forecast and the reservoir. Beautiful. And we have that turned off. Now, let's have a look at our resources. Let's go over here now. This is where our lumber... Yep, they're still upgrading residential. So that's fine. We have two lumber mills. That's great. Um, also, out of game, what I will do is go through and rename all these warehouses. I won't bore you with that. Now, like I said, we will right now sacrifice three nuggets. We will also add a couple more subscribers and we'll see if we can find the ones we added as well. So, let's find some non-believer. Ah, oh, you're a non-believer. Up you go. In. No, you believe in us. What about you? No. Oh, what a mistake. Oh, in you go. Yep, run. Oh, you believe in us. Lucky. You believe in us? You do not. And there we go. Excellent. That's three. We'll come back. So, yeah, we really need to fix up this. Uh, before the update, we had a full amount of nuggets believing in us. This time round, they've been very slack. So we will rectify that. We've got an infected zone. Of course, it's out here. That's fine. The cemetery is almost built. Oh, what was that? Was that the... Yeah. Forecast sales game built. Fantastic. What do we need there? Just bricks. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's go. Oh, we're going to sacrifice some more nuggets. We have an exile villager here spreading bad rumors about us. Look, he's like, did you see that? He just sacrificed three of your own nuggets. Why would you believe in him? Well, you are going in the churn, my friend, if I can pick you up. Why can't I pick you up? There we go. Jeez. Oh, we got another one there to the right. You're from Nug Castle. Well, you're not from there anymore. In you go. Okay, now this guy. How dare you speak ill of me. You can talk about me in your own town, not here. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Alright. Now, let's check out our expedition. Get rid of that. Okay. We haven't found any more items. Let's camp and increase our morale. We've cured a few nuggets there as well. Excellent. They can keep going. No problems there. Alright, now let's... Um, so he's building a water pump there. That's fantastic. Let's get some courier huts happening. They are the life blood of our community. They will be running around moving resources for us so our nuggets in particular buildings don't have to do it themselves. So we have one there that's pretty much for the gas and this area. We have this guy here, he's there looking after the food and stuff. That's great. Um, glass is okay. Um, we need another courier hat out this way so where can we build where can we build somewhere here 
Um, it's not even really. Ah, uh, we can build there. That's fine. Okay, where are we? Yep, look at that, perfect. Excellent. Now, we need another one out this way. Let's see what we can build. Or let's see where we can build. Can we build on the corner here? No, of course not. Uh, what about here? I reckon we can build there. Yep, perfect. Right there. So this guy will look after this other food area here. Oh, look. They're still complaining about us. What an absolute donkey. Your god is inferior. Really? Really now? I'll show you how inferior I am. Straight to the churner. Look at you. You're an absolute disgrace. There you go. Okay. They're going to... Vote this guy in, possibly. Any of these is fine for us at the moment. It's when it comes to, like, food for war or water, double water rations, and we've got issues. Now. There we go. We found two more items on the way back. That's excellent. Uh, let's camp just to increase our morale a bit and we don't need to cure anyone. So that's fantastic Let's keep them going. So as you can see we haven't had to keep the expedition window open and micromanage them for the whole of the journey It's pretty much just that start Where you're adding more food using your creator points. You're not using a whole lot of food from your stockpile and we're succeeding you wait and see how many discovery points we get. So, stone is okay at the moment. That's great. Um, iron was what I wanted to look at. And we're okay there. Maybe once our resource buildings get to about 20%, we'll start building more. Because there will be a high demand for them soon. As we go through. So... What I might do is the plan is to go back over where our power plant is, slowly make our way back over here, upgrading the buildings as we go. Not all of them all at once, just two or three at a time. And then when we get to here, we're going to build some more farms. And on the way, we will also build some more fishing huts as well, I think. So let's see, we have one fishing hut there. We have a second one, and then we have a third. Is that it? Yes. So we could possibly do a few more fishing huts as well. Yeah. So I, like I said, food minister is not working for me. Look, we're almost into winter, and we only have 66 food, and we have 255 nuggets to feed during winter. So, definitely something wrong there, but what we can do to rectify that problem is trade for some food. Okay, they've got two. That's not going to work. What have they got? Uh, they've got four. Okay. Now, there is, there is another exile village. Let me zoom out a bit. I believe they're over here somewhere. There, no. Oh, there's a fire happening. Let's get this chest. Now, something I really want to do in this series is actually build these um, legendary buildings. We didn't do any as a good creator. So, it's something we're definitely going to have to remember to do. So that chest will get researched. We do have one here. It's been fully researched. What have we got? 
The surface of the box is inscribed with mysterious markings. Uh, your nuggets smell an odd odour coming from the box. The smell of fumes waft from the box. Okay, this could be dangerous, but let's open it. Okay, great. We've got oil. We've got a couple new nuggets. And we have a blueprint. That's fantastic. Okay. Okay, how's our expedition going? Ah, oh, look. We found four more items. Oh, we have an injured nugget. So let's camp. Cure. Excellent. We've cured six uneducated nuggets there. That's fantastic. All right, where are they? There they are. They're almost there. Not long to go. That's beautiful. All right. Let's get back to it. Okay. Let's see what buildings we can upgrade. So there we go. A lot of the residential have gone into medieval buildings now. That's fantastic. Okay, so... I do believe our two new towers have been constructed. No, one is still being done. So let's prioritize that. Uh, we can celebrate. Elderly assisting. Cool, okay, now, excellent. So he's doing that. Look, our batteries are slowly filling up. Now let's see, water we're good with. We're making more than we need. Electricity the same at the moment. That's fantastic. Now, lumber planks are great. Anything over 200, I'm happy with. Usually when it gets to 250, 300, I'll shut down the factory, let it drop to 200 and then start up again. Bricks is okay. Herbs, we are smashing. We could even trade with those if we need to. Um, Oh, I was meant to find that other exile village. Okay. Um, iron. Absolutely fantastic. Oil. Let's turn oil back on. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oil. Let's turn gas back off. Sorry about that. We need oil. Well, we're going to need oil anyway. So let's see. Uh, we might do oil on the other side. Okay. I apologize. I am talking way too much. Let's upgrade and prioritize. Anything else around here? Yep. Upgrade and prioritize. Cool. Okay. Let's check our research. We have researched everything. We're going to do a few of these perks. We're going to be able to unlock them soon. So where are we at? That's all done. That's all done. So we might, we won't go any further than government in regards to cement. Uh, we'll hold off until we've upgraded everything and built what we need. Um, let's unlock the Hunter's Lodge. Logging, we need the lumber mill, fortifications, organized storage, and the minister. And then that's all we're going to upgrade to. We'll definitely open up some of these perks, but that's all we're going to research up to for the moment until we have constructed all the buildings we need and upgraded all these buildings. We have a lot to upgrade. So. Also, sorry, let's just get back to that. Um, the carriage house, which turns um, our nuggets into cars and they can move around a bit quicker, requires oil. So that's on the list to be done. We need oil, okay? Let's, um, let's check our expedition. They should almost be done. Now. Everyone's happy with us. Our crime level is low. That's beautiful. We have a meteor coming. Nugget population is up a little bit. That's fine. Um, okay. Let's camp again and cure. Excellent. 
Okay, well, I think our discovery points is going to be quite high. Anything above 60 is a success in my eyes. Early, early on, everything's around 20, 25, 30 uh, discovery points per perk. And then obviously it gets a bit more expensive as you research a bit more. The first snow of winter has fallen. I hope you have a nice pair of fuzzy slippers. I do actually. All right, the Minister of Water has built another reservoir. That's fantastic. Look at that. We don't need to worry about anything water related anymore. Um, the team has returned. Beautiful. Okay, end the expedition. And there we go. We have 92 creator points. There we go, guys. A successful expedition. Now, please remember, all we did, we did plus food three times plus the health three times plus the hammer and rope four times and we did five uneducated and five educated nuggets started an expedition let them go for a little bit handy creator there's a ragged bunch of wolves approaching your civilization and then we camped i gave them food from the heavens like three times and then let them go then when you get the notification saying they've run out of food, they're going to turn around, give them more food. Do that two or three times. And then cure when you need to. And then when you have around half the weight capacity of what you can hold, you just return them. Because like I said, they pick up items on the return trip as well. Okay, And that's it. We're done. What more can I say? So there we go. The successful expedition We'll do one expedition every video and we're going to make a whole lot of creator points, a whole lot of uh, discovery points as well, should I say. And that's it. Beautiful. Okay. Let's spend. We don't need to worry about wolves. We've got towers. Now we are researching the defense minister as well, so we'll implement him and he'll start building towers for us as well. So let's go. Let's spend these creator Oh my god, I keep saying the wrong thing. Let's spend these discovery points. So, we want this. Eatery food capacity plus 5%. Oh, we can't. We can't do it because we're already researching. Okay. We'll come back. I promise. Okay. So, what have we got? We got, we got plenty of time still. Alright. So let's go back and see how our... Upgrading is going. Now we've done enough uh, courier huts now as well for the moment. But as we slowly expand, we're going to have to add more, obviously. Okay, so everything here is built. I believe that reservoir is coming along. We don't need to... Okay, so our nuggets are dying. There you go, from wild animals. Um, okay, oh, we have to save our nuggets. How dare you. And then this one here. Oh, look, our, uh, our hunters were coming to save us, but we did lose, oh, we lost a lot of nuggets. That is not good. We were, oh, that's not good. I should have been paying attention. And I said we didn't need to worry about it, but obviously we did. I've made a big mistake. Anyway, we will recover. Okay, so reservoir's upgraded. That tower's upgraded. Um, gas is great. Glass is coming back. What else did we do? Um, here we go. This reservoir is coming along. Excellent. What's that? Just residential. Um, let's keep going. Let's upgrade these water pumps. We have all of that. We have planks, bricks, and iron. Uh, we could possibly start another iron mine quite soon. Okay. Wow, what a beautiful game. Man, I love this. 
Oh, let's do some more fishing huts. So, let's do a fishing hut out here. Right there. Alright, so let's build one fishing hut here. It'll be a while before nuggets develop their sea legs. Fortunately, a seasick nugget will attract more fish. Yes, it will. Okay, and let's do... We have a bit of um, residential over this way happening at the moment. So let's get some food production happening over here as well. Now, I'm a big believer in spreading out your buildings. I have watched a few people and they'll do like four parks in right next to each other or build four schools in a row you need to spread them out I trust me your nuggets do not want to walk right across the other side of their town just to go to school they'll be there for five minutes and then they're gonna have to leave so and let's do a fishing hut there interesting idea taking to the water for more food but what happens if the water freezes over so the hunters lodges have been upgradable we won't upgrade them where they stand we want to move them a bit further out because we've obviously expanded so we do have one there and then i believe we have a second one somewhere over here so that's on the list as well um, while it is winter and we are waiting for these buildings so we've got the reservoir up and running these two are being built now, so let's add some more subscribers. Okay, we'll just do three for the moment. And we'll see if we can find, did I add, maybe I didn't add any subscribers to this new version. I don't think I did, it was in the old version, so. There we go, we got a youngster there. There we go, it looks like he's an engineer, no? He's a laborer, well, you are now a subscriber. There we go, you Ling Chan, you've made it mate. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, I forgot to do the symbol. There you are. Let's give you the symbol. Pizza. Beautiful. All right. We need another young nugget. Someone who's going to be in this, the universe in for a while. There's another one. Oh, that's our same one. Ah, oh, Darren. You're a disaster. Okay, let's do this one. I believe it's a female. Um, is it you that just chopped the tree down? It is. Okay, let's go with... Caden Star. Beautiful and a symbol. You are the love heart. There you go. Caden, I apologize. If you're male... In real life, you're a female now in the universe sim, so there we go. And let's do one more. There we go. Oh no, that's Caden Star. That's weird. Um, here we go. We have a male here. He's chopping all our trees down. Okay, so let's go. Uh, one of our one of our early subscribers. There we go. Jerry the Nitwit Villager. Obviously we can't fit Villager in there. So there you go, buddy. You're the ghost. Excellent. Okay. So off you go. Make some babies and get married. And your surname should carry on. That's great. Uh, that's where the other Hunter's Lodge is. So we'll move him out that way. Um, some nuggets are infected. Oh, yes. This is where we had the uh, wolf incident. Might have to develop out this way as well. 
obviously no cemetery stretching out this way. Okay, very good. Uh, there we go, look, here is our water pumps. They're coming along very nicely. We haven't really recovered, oh, there we go, we're going up a little bit. Let's, um, let's do Le Cupid. Uh, there we go. We have a lot of free single nuggets here. Um, I don't want to go over our crota of god powers. I probably already have because I don't keep track. Okay, that's enough. Alright. No more using our god powers. Our building has no water. Really? Um, we're out of winter, so we should be pumping water any minute now. It's probably because we were building... Because when you uh, upgrade a water pump, it stops producing water, obviously, so your water will go down a bit. Uh, there we go. We're pumping water again. Uh, this one needs to hurry up. Let's give you a zap. And then that should... Oh, look how quickly that goes. There we go. Fishing hut's coming along great as well. We won't prioritise those. We'll leave them for the moment. Alright, we might have to finish up very soon. We will spend these uh, discovery points. Um, let's continue upgrading. Let's do these two reservoirs. Again, remember, don't don't rush in and just upgrade everything all in one go. You will lose all the resources you've been slowly gathering. All your nuggets will be too busy to mate and you will see a drop in your population. I guarantee it, so keep all of that in mind. There we go. Uh, like I said, we will have another video of the Universe Sim on Friday because one would assume there will be an update coming out soon and I'm very slow at uh, Getting ahead of our Universe Sim series sometimes, so I apologize for that. Check out the channel for more content, guys. There's a lot on there. We are playing Operator 112 a bit as well. I did start playing The Sims 4, the Journey to Batu. We did finish the Resistance storyline, and we are continuing with the First Order. So we'll probably just concentrate on those three games for the moment. There's a lot coming out soon as well. I did see a trailer for this new police simulator. It looks really nice. But I might wait until it's almost fully developed. I won't do any early access or anything. The Nuggets Fierce Enemy. Okay. Dear Creator, for too long our mortal enemies have opposed us. These trees have to go. Wow, this guy is an absolute donkey. Place a lumber camp so the Nuggets can fight back. Okay, let's do that down this way. Um, our Nuggets are a bit stupid at the moment. If they think a tree is their enemy. Clearly they haven't discovered that uh, they give you oxygen. Alright. Let's do that here. Excellent. And let's do a second one. And then that's probably all we're going to need in regards to lumber mills for the start. Um, yep, right there. Uh, that one can go on the side. Can we not build here? There we go. Alright, so what do we need? We need some support structures out here, obviously. Uh, yeah, we need an engineer's hut. Can you go there? You can go there. 
Can he? Yep. Oh, maybe he destroyed that road. Let's uh, cancel that. Sorry. Uh, let's do it on this side. What else? Uh, we need a cemetery out here, don't we? That can possibly go there. Uh, we don't want to build too much school. Oh, we have a school right there. We don't need that. Let's just do the fire station for the moment. That can go there. Beautiful. That's enough. Okay. Let's pause the cemetery. We want these two. We can probably pause that one. We'll prioritize this one. What do we need to do now? Okay. Destroy some trees to please this absolute donkey of a naga. I can't even pronounce his name. All right. Let's see where you are. Okay, so let's start pulling out some trees, shall we? You're looking a little weak, creator. Am I? No, I've not got 900 creator points. What are you talking about? Um, we can pop, pop them in there. Good. I don't really want to waste them. Okay, still going? Really? He's still not pleased. Let's see if we can give some trees to the lumber meal. Where's the lumber meal? Oh, it's pretty far away. It's right here. Alright, they're happy with that. Absolute ridiculous. You silly nugget. Okay. Great. Alright, so we've done that. Let's have a look at the story. What do we still need to do? Okay. Going green. Uh, lake cleansing. Sitting on power, the root of the problem. Okay. So, sitting on power will pop up on its own. Going green. If you want to unlock these two storylines, it's quite simple. Going green, you need to lower your ecology to, I believe, to either below 80 or 70%. So just just take up a lot of trees, uh, build some more polluting buildings, don't do anything nice for the planet. And then once you hit, I think it's 70%, this will unlock and then you have to do a storyline. Lake cleansing is really simple. All you do is find the smallest lake you can on your planet, drop a few dead nuggets in it, and then this storyline will open. You do the uh, quest and you're done. And then once you open up and complete all these storylines, just the ones here, not these bottom ones, you actually open up another perk for your nuggets. Uh, I believe it's the immortality perk. Um, when you start a new game, you can choose that perk for your nugget. They live forever, except if they get a disease and the disease runs right through your population quite quickly. So we will have to do that one day, I think. All right. Um, I think we'll leave it there, guys. It's been a good hour. Let's... Um, Let's see. Okay, let's just finish these things off I need to do. Uh, we want eatery. And we can do one more. Uh, nuggets, carrying capacity. No, I want another food. Oh, we could get divine punishment. We can do divine punishment. We've got enough to do one more possibly. Nugget water needs reduced by 7%. This one here. Nugget food needs reduced by 20%. We'll be doing that next time. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Let's finish up by sacrificing some non-believers. Three more. That should be enough. What are you? Oh, you don't believe in us. What an absolute joke. Yep, run. 
Run away. What about you? No, you believe in us. Good, good, good nugget. You do not, but you're a child. You're a child. You do not believe in us. Ugh. Look at our temple. It's all got blood and everything on it. Why do you guys make me do this? You believe in us? You do not. Okay. Bang. All right. Uh, we'll do our random lightning. Let's zoom out. Oh, beautiful. Look at our planet. I love it. Right here. Um, lightning. Beautiful. Okay. Now, close my eyes. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Oh, let's do it again. We need to destroy something. Okay. What do we get there? Do anything? I think we killed this nugget. Uh, dead. Yep. Alright. That's good enough for me, guys. We didn't start a fire. Oh, we do need to put fire stations right... Oh, my God. There's so much to do. So, next time, guys, we've got to do fire stations right through our uh, city. We need to... Have a look at the kickstart god power, how I've been using it. We need to spend some more of these discovery points. We need to do some more farms in that new area we uh, suggested. Uh, we need to add more notes. Oh, so much to do. So much to do. But yeah, fantastic. Thank you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know how you guys are going with expeditions. If you're having issues, just do what I do. I guarantee you'll have a successful expedition if you just follow what i did i do it every time i always come back with a whole lot of creator points oh my god i just said it again a whole lot of discovery points okay thanks for watching enjoy your week i will see you friday for another video thanks again bye